What's up everybody on YouTube? Um, I just want to thank you very much for the kind messages and uh, uh, real support. And I just want to let you guys know I appreciate that. Um, I'm not leaving YouTube. It's just that YouTube has literally taken away more than, I would say at least 50% of what I actually do on YouTube itself has now changed. So uh, it's very, very disappointing to me because uh, anytime I put out a video, I either make my site kind of opposite of what I'm doing or the same, depending on my mood. <clears throat> but most of the time it's to present a different frame of thought, uh, maybe even from an opposite angle at times. Uh, I think the video I made before this made, uh, made its point. And I think that's what you have to do with these people. They don't, they don't, the people that think they're untouchable because they know the system need to realize that the system is always against you. And uh, if the system's properly to be used, it will be used against you. So, uh, end the obsession, get over yourself, get onto something new. Uh, so basically, uh, just to kind of rehash some old things that I've done and that's, uh, Right now I'm leading, uh, reading uh, Alephus Levi, Transcendental uh, Magic. Um, but what I notice is, he's, you know, before every heading of each chapter, and I, I believe it's uh, author Waite that uh, interpreted the French work, but, uh, <clears throat> you know, he puts A and 1, B and 2, C and 3, 4 and, you know, D. <sighs> I have to excuse me, man, I hurt my hand yesterday. It happens, you know what I mean? So, uh, you know, I, I showed you how ABC is 666, how uh, K in the, cir or the triangle or circle is 666, how uh, uh, ABC is 666, how Fox News is 666, F6, O's 15, which is 6, and, and uh, X is 24. 24 holds a special point, especially if you do a three in a row, like if you're doing porn or something. Uh, it's not only blasphemous, but it's also showing how they believe, view God as um, ecstasy. Uh, but also another one is I was looking at ESPN, and it does add up to 18, which is 666. So I think, uh, you know, just looking around, if you really take the time to look around, you can really see the system. And I think I've allowed some people to do that without me. I believe that the stuff I've given them, they can, if they just take a little bit of time, they can do the addition, which is the phatic numbering system, where zero can be uh, nothing or it can be everything. It doesn't matter. It can come and go. Uh, it's infinite and nothing at the same time, whereas the one is, is finite. <clears throat> also, if you take any type of commercials where they have a sentence in capital letters, if you add just the capital letters, this can go for a business name, uh, the logos, logos of the business name. Uh, I think you'll also start to see the same reoccurring numbers. Um, I, I don't know where I'm going to go from here. I don't know what I'm going to do. I have all of my videos um, from day one. You know, with the big fro and the bad back and the, you know, weeping, weeping a lot in the videos. This has been kind of a very long therapeutic journey for me and it's definitely not ending because um, as some of my friends have commented, it's uh, the, the more you know, the less you know, the less you know, the more you know, and then you realize that you just don't know. <clears throat> and that's a good thing. If, I'm glad that I don't know. I'm glad that I'm in this eternal search. It also teaches me about eternity in a concept of true knowledge, which uh, would be wholesome, uh, justful, and kind. <clears throat> but like I said, I can see the system everywhere clearly. The penta, it's in everything. Sports, let's say soccer, the ball, we know is covered with pentas. Uh, the system is literally everything that is surrounding you. And if you break out of that system, if you're out of the box, if you're out of that eight pointed box, uh, you get to the first Pythagorean box. Um, there's a gentleman on here that um, 
uh, obviously has a college education. I put a lot of his stuff on my um, on my site. Uh, you know, he is helping me, and I and I will try to do better at mathematics. Um, you know, I'm coming from a philosophical point of view, and all I have to do is simple addition to get the same thing that he's doing through, uh, you know, <clears throat> geometry. So for me, the 27 is the 27 boxes, and then I just take the 27 times 8, because it's an 8-pointed box, and I get 216, which is Pythagorean's magic box. And he wanted me to, wanted to know where I got it from, and I probably got it from Manley P. Hall. Um, I just recently uh, opened up another account. Um, I'm not, uh, I, I'm <clears throat> taking the advice of people and I'm not gonna lower myself to uh, a certain individual's criteria. So I'm gonna represent all these guys. I'm gonna put them all out there. I'm gonna put different aspects of, of Pythagoras' box and Saturn and, and Miss and all these things, but it's, it's gonna be under the crown of Saturn because it's the, it's the head of the timetable, right? It's the king of the timetable. It's time itself, the figure eight, right? And you're the fool in the center. It's in infinity in a figure eight and you're at the center the fool. You are infinite and yet you are nothing. I guess that just depends what you do with your life. Anyway, man, I'm tired, a little beat up. Uh, as you can all see, I had a bit of a breakdown yesterday. <clears throat> I've really, really, grown to love YouTube as it is right now besides all the games and the trolls and the drama and all this kind of stuff it has really been a joy to interact with the harshest type people I mean uh, when I first got on here I was dealing with this this person that was a Nazi and uh, the the Nationalist Party is well and alive especially on YouTube and um, it goes back to an argument that I had with uh, my wife and her sister. But, uh, you know, they view any type of comment of any type of like, like, um, you know, I, I drove by a certain restaurant and I was like, oh man, I better not eat there, I might get poisoned. And um, this person said to me, you know, you're gonna be, you know, it was her sister, said you're gonna be marrying her, so I'm gonna let you know that that's a, a racist term. And and I get, I get that, and, and, my whole philosophy prior to that and, and still is because I grew up in a, a background of racism is that we all need to talk out our differences and air them all out and 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 the, both my wife and, and my sister-in-law couldn't couldn't understand that and I think what I have done has come to fruition in a lot of ways especially across the board in America um, I don't know if I did the change personally. Obviously, I don't have the numbers to do that, but I think that I have talked to a lot, a lot of people, and I'm sure that there are other people like me out there now that I've been on YouTube that have broken down the walls that these these old old money, old blood, old religion, um, the old universal religion, all these things, this, this Tower of Babel that they want to say God. I don't think God separated us. I think man separated us on purpose. You know, six religions around the sun, all the priesthoods are but one. And I think that has changed, and I have seen a difference. And I have seen those that, that were totally against me at least listen to me. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, this first Nazi that I was dealing with, I mean, it was mouth like a trucker, really, really violent. Nothing but hatred came out of this person's mouth. And, and in the end, she turned out to be a, a woman, which blew my mind. At the time, it blew my mind. Um, but I uh, also was able to air some people that are um, of a darker races that also are racist. And I think what what we've been able to do on YouTube, although they're gonna be really cutting down how we do it, I'm gonna have to look because I believe that they've given us an opportunity. It's just a lot, uh, it's a lot more centralized, obviously, because the New World Order's coming, but it's also, uh, giving us a bigger picture to bring the world into a tighter, in some aspects, I'm not against New World Order. I mean, if they're going to do it, do I want to be part of it or do I want to be against it? If, it, if it's going to happen, regardless of this one guy right here sitting here talking to you, I feel like I've got to present to those that might be listening from the other side that, hey, you know what? We can make this work for the whole world, for everybody. We don't need to eradicate anybody. 
you know, you guys can stop all these, you know, eugenics programs, all this kind of crap. But I noticed that I was able to touch some people. And I also found that um, I could deal with people that were heavily racist, uh, be it white, black, uh, religious ties, Christian. There was a common ground where some of us just wanted to be people. We wanted to be beings upon this earth and we wanted to be one race. Not a human race, because that denotes color, and that's all about blacks dictionary, legal dictionary. And we get into all these, um, you know, black robes and square hats and all this crap. I'm talking about the real people that are awake, that know that we're just a, we're just part of this earth and that we need to respect this planet. But at the same time, uh, we know we have the technology today where people can be getting along a lot better than they are. Sick, sickness and health, because you know that cancer can be cured. Uh, could be eradicated, but there's a side that doesn't want that because it has to do with money. But then you look into money and you realize money's not real, and it's it's more about control of the of the human, of this excuse me this being, and uh, <clears throat> you see it in all aspects. I, I know probably you guys have seen earlier this week the FDA has um, uh, okayed a chip for the human race, and uh, you know obviously I'm against any type of um, uh, monitoring, 1984 stylish monitoring. Uh, you know, we've got a, we've got some different sides, and again, I always go back to who are the good people, and uh, I think they're us, and I think it's it's time that we uh, do what we can while we can, man. We got a couple days left, and then they're really gonna silence us. When people come to your site, you know that that. If, if I could make that, that front piece in the middle somewhat transparent, at least I could get the picture out, but they're not even allowing that. They're not allowing me to put out a featured video. The featured video has got to be, I, at this point, I believe it has to be my featured video. And I've never been about featuring myself on my site. So when you go to my site and you see the amount of hits, you know, I'm proud of the hits that I have for my channel because those are, those are points that I've put out for other people. I literally maybe every four months put out one of my videos for even a night. I've really uh, cherished being able to share viewpoints, music, ideas, uh, different people's thoughts. You know, that's what this YouTube has been about. And I think that's where it needs to stay. And, I, and I'm hoping that they'll, uh, you know, at this point, they just seem very uh, materialistic. Killing me, guys. Just wanted to make this video, man. I support you guys. The people that are supporting me, I support you. Uh, I'm not going anywhere. I just, I'm just. They're putting us back in the box, and they're 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 controlling what we're able to put out to the masses. And uh, a long time ago, I put out a video, you know, which of course I've since pulled. But we, there was a point when this was when YouTube and and, and Facebook and this beta came out that they allowed us to go on like ten different channels. We had the ability as, as people of this earth to shut down the internet and to literally shut it down with knowledge, to spread so much knowledge that every single human being on this earth would have to come to grips. Anybody that was on a computer would have to come to grips with some reality of what's transpiring. And uh, they didn't need a kill switch. We would have killed them. And in doing so brought about, you know, uh, brought about this new world, a new world where people are accountable, okay? Um, the more that I've learned and the, and the things that I've seen, I understand that there's like a, hell, it might be a 33 tiered, I don't know, you know, the whole vertebrae thing, but there's definitely the elite that, you know, you go to their house and it's like a fucking zoo, you know, and they, they, they can take a, you know, probably a donkey and spend four or five days on their property. And there's those people that are sitting in a one bedroom, uh, cockroach and cockroach and infested uh, area. They have gangbangers surrounding them, and uh, they don't have proper education. And uh, the best means of, of getting out is either sports or violence, and uh, or drug dealing to lower the people around you. These are facts. So uh, when we take, uh, if we took the ten percent of the richest people in the world, and we shed them of fifty percent of their um, wealth. They would still be super, super, super fucking wealthy. And guess what? The rest of the world wouldn't be poor. 
they have the amount of this, you know, money is an absolute lie. And I, you know, I've been dealing with this from day one. And for the atheists that uh, have taken the time to listen to me, I also appreciate you guys. Uh, for the uh, atheists that I pulled my video because I was afraid that uh, I'd get another flag because I was flagged the day before. He doesn't look at my videos, I really wish he did because he's very close-minded. And uh, I think religion as a whole, unless you are truly looking at literary works within human scholarly um, endeavors, unless you look at these, these people that are forming their own ideas in, in logos, in the word, you can't see the connotations that they put on original scriptures. And uh, then when you get, uh, you know, it's, it's come down four or five languages, uh, you know, a question I've had out there, where's old Hebrew? Uh, there's a lot of different things that prove to us that man is involved in our religions. So spirituality is probably the safest bet. Uh, it's the most wholesome bet. And if we are to continue to share and evolve and change, um, you know, we're going to have to make the people that control it accountable somehow. Uh, because like I've been, I've been monetized for about eight or nine months. There's a lot of people I know that have way more hits than me that cannot make over a 10 minute video. Um, I've had advertisements on my site since day one and they won't pay me unless it's over a hundred dollars a month. And that's fine and dandy. I don't have any problem with that at all. But my point is they've always made money. Google. It's, uh, you know, if you guys watched, I forgot what that movie, The Big Blue, something like that, with another guy, he's the guy that did Fahrenheit 9-11. Uh, we all know he's bought and paid for as well through uh, videos that have come out later. But, uh, you know, um, you know, the Mars Candy Bar, at one point, one of the videos, you know, they made them $2 billion, $3 billion. They were totally blown out of the water by how much money they made. But instead of uh, putting it back into the factory, they closed the factory and moved to a place where they could use child labor and uh, not spend the money. Same with Nike. When the conscience of America is worldwide, when when the true republic and the people that understand what a republic is, and that, that means that we're going to grow. Now, the point is what happens to a republic when it's the whole world? When does tyranny set in and, and where doesn't it? If we think that we can be free Americans while riding on the backs of the poor from, from uh, Malaysia, uh, Cambodia, uh, you know, uh, Levi jeans, okay? I would keep them for five to six years. These jeans were my life. I, I loved my blue jeans, man. Man, were they tough. And now I won't even buy Levi's because they rip, and I'm not exaggerating, within three to four weeks, I can rip a pair of Levi's like nothing. When you look at the videos and you understand that they've actually researched how to make shit cheaper and less durable just so they can sell things, you understand the kind of climate that we're in. We need to bring everybody up, everybody up, but that doesn't mean lessening those that are already there. See, what you want to do is destroy America, gentlemen, and you want to uh, think, you know, give the illusion to other people that you're bringing them up, but what you're really doing is getting mass control. I mean, you're very easy to see. Uh, you're very disgusting. Uh, uh, you know, it's been told that the only way for you to uh, understand is to call you out in front of the, your God. But upon the research uh, in doing so, I found that uh, uh, perhaps you don't even know the name of God, even though you're, you know, so old and so, you know, verbally passed it on forever and a day. There's a lot of bullshit surrounding this kind of crap. And uh, this is a bit of a rant, I guess. I mean, I, you know, I, I am all over the place at times, but, uh, you know, I ask people, you know, we look at this revelation, they talk about, oh, men will be fierce, they'll have no true love, you know, they'll, they'll claim the name of God, but they'll have no true love. Uh, the, the name will be written on their foreheads. Just, that's just an, you know, it could be any cap with any logos on it. A lot of this stuff is metaphoric, and if you look at it, it's already all around you, okay? You you know. You don't you you don't idolatrize things, okay? So we're not from any tribe. So the the baseball, the football, the soccer, they're they're giving you uh, 
there's a difference between looking up to somebody that's saying this guy works hard and I want to be like him and there's a difference my god this guy's a star he's unbelievable this is the guy that I want to be there's a fine line between idolatry and um, you know bowing down to somebody else as an idol regardless is it of stone or wood or a piece of picture or uh, an emblem on a hat and these are the things that we need to question. We need to question what do we stand for? Who do we really believe in? Who's to be trusted? And what are we going to do with the knowledge that we're attaining? And for me personally, that was coming out here and talking about it. And I got to share, you know, I've, I, you know, I've been on here where I've, I've cursed at people. I've been on here where I've fallen apart. And it was, though it was wrong of me, it was therapeutic for me to go through it. Um, and by the way, uh, I got another thumbs down on my mom, my mom's uh, video when she was passing away. And I know who you are. And I just hope that one day you can, you know, reconcile with your own heart because your heart's like stone. And uh, you guys are uh, evil, regardless of how much good information you put out, which I'll take. I'll take evil information all day long. I have no problem looking at everything. Okay, I've seen the darkest side of man through books absolutely and I don't put those books out and I won't because I'm not uh, if you're of that level and you look at it then good for you you're preparing for the enemy but for 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 those of us that don't have the strength of mind to look at some of this stuff it perhaps is not for them so I'll present some things but you know Elephas Levi and Crowley uh, believe me um, Crowley has like maybe one or two books that are really vile um, as far as his belief on um, sex magic and how to attain uh, a conference with the gods out of this galaxy. Anybody who's looked at that kind of stuff. Uh, but for the most part, there's, there's a lot of individuals that believe in big time sacrifice, man, and it's in all the books. So uh, this is Covenant of Love, man. It's just food for thought. And uh, I'll keep doing what I do. I'm going to, you know, maybe every three months or so, I'm going to break down, man. It's just how it is. Um, it's sad to me that we're not putting the children first, that we can't see. I mean, when I learned that there was a fucking island of trash in the middle of the ocean, okay, I cried, okay? I don't know who the fuck we think we are, but um, we're destroying the planet. And I think, in fact, I'm almost positive because I've seen, uh, I believe it was Switzerland or Denmark, that they have a self-sufficient engine now. Uh, things could really change the tide. And if we can get off the planet and, and uh, colonize, say, Mars again, you know, figure out how to make water, more water up there, whatever it is, um, <clears throat> it'd be a lot better than eating ourselves alive here. And uh, I was watching this guy that I, Satanist that I look at, his name's Nargyle something. You can look at it in my history if you want to look at it. But, uh, you know, he's he's gung-ho on these these Anaki coming, and he, and he thinks that they're... Uh, somehow into you know anal entry and all these different foul foul things so i told him he was, i laughed at him i told him he's losing his mind and he just he wrote back to me well that's been the goal from the start uh you know he's i believe he's in ireland you know he's, he's off in some beautiful uh, farmland you know thinking evil thoughts all day that, that tells you where his head is probably at um for the good people out there man keep fighting on and uh you know, do it in the smallest, tiniest ways. Um, a lie is a lie is a lie. So we may not know what the truth is, but we can, through time, decipher the lies and shed, shed those lies and uh, keep working towards the truth, the one main goal. Uh, before the aliens and the pole shift and the planets align and uh, government uh, Nazi takeover and the police state and and uh, fiat currency and uh, illegal taxation through our, our labor. I mean, all these things are culminating into one thing and anybody, especially you, if you watch in any of my videos, you atheist SOB, you, your prejudgmental attitude will get you nowhere. And uh, you can only ride uh, so many go-karts into the sunset and uh, then you won't be able to afford gas for them. <clears throat> There's a real world that's coming, man, and it's about to shock us all. Regardless of all of the stuff that we look at is fake, there's still a governmental takeover taking place. Uh, take a look at the Congress, man. Food for thought, man. It's a beautiful day. 
and I'll be looking at people. I'll be watching your videos. And uh, Kevin, uh, you're a good guy, man, and I, I do love you, man. I appreciate your videos. Uh, I wish I had more time to look at your stuff. I, I'm trying to figure out how to da like rip your stuff so I can actually listen to all of it in a day, you know. Because this is, this is what I used to do. I used to go through and spend uh, Melchizedek's site. Okay, that guy's got freaking, I mean, probably a, literally a, work, a week's worth of video, time-wise. I watched all of his stuff, man. I, I will sit through an individual site and listen to every video that he has posted. And I feel you're of that type. You're of that quality of, of intelligence that I should. And uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna figure it out. I, what I, I need a I need a brain to come in here and, and you know slimline what I want to do because I want to go on all these channels. The only way for us to keep YouTube alive is to be from YouTube and be everywhere else. So the beta, I don't know what happened with the Facebook, you know, being on the Google beta. They're still on it, but. Um, there's some kind of rift there, obviously, because it doesn't work well together. But there's nights that I'll put out 200 videos on every single one. Uh, just so you guys know, I looked up, I, I forgot how I found it, but I was able to see every single thread that I've ever put out. And I have put out 65 million threads. So I think that's a job well earned. That's due diligence. That's uh, um, just trying to be faithful and uh, be true to uh, what I believe is a higher power, a good, wholesome higher power. Uh, was looking at some HBO video today, a uh, comedy video, and uh, you know he's kind of laughing off the family. And I understand that people need their rights, and I know that people that spend a lot of time together, if they are of the same sex, deserve every right to keep all their property, to have medical, but it's not, it's not the joining of a man and a woman and making a family. They can do this, <clears throat> you know, you can do this by adoption and that's fine. Okay, that's, I, I can't, I can't do everything. I can't control the world. But I do know that a good father and a good mother, if they take the time and aren't self-indulgent, can build really good children's, children, children's, really good children that can better all of us. And that, that's not just being good in sports. I'm talking about a good citizen that can protect himself, okay? It's not, you know, the average bully's not gonna get under his skin uh, or her. And that they can contribute to society in a positive manner to change everything. Doesn't matter if you're Russian, doesn't matter if you're American, doesn't matter if you're Chinese. When we, as a people, can say enough is enough. And I know that they talk about that they're gonna do this and that we're gonna say that and then they're gonna enslave us, but we've gotta do something, okay? I mean, it, it, that's like sitting there, oh, it's happening, it's happening, it's happening, it's happening. It's fucking happening, let's do something about it. Let's be part of it, let's be part of the change. And that's what I'm hoping we've done. And uh, no, it's not done, but uh, I, I see a major change in people around me um, in the last year. And I think it's from all of our due diligence, the Occupy movement, regardless of who uh, started it or who funds it. These are things that are gonna happen, man. What we have to watch out is for when they insert the thugs in, when they take away the money, we've got to uphold our society within communities and show that we're, we are not animals. Okay, I'm not an animal and my name is Eric, okay? And I'm a covenant of love and that's what I'm trying to, to be, a covenant of love. It's not always soft, but it's, it's, it's as best as I can be, man. Talk to you later.